And in Psycho Talk tonight, presidential candidate Rick Santorum shows his ignorance about the American workforce and his complete lack of common sense when it comes to the numbers. Now, this morning, Santorum tried to attack President Obama by bringing up a report from the White House Council on Economic Advisors. Now, the report actually says the 2009 stimulus created between 2.4 and 3.6 million jobs, okay? But Santorum decided to make up some new, completely unrealistic numbers of his own. He passed a huge stimulus package, which now we know over the past two quarters has actually cost American jobs. And that's from the, that's from the report of, of his own administration. They claimed in December that uh, by the end of last year that they created 280 million, uh, 80 million jobs. And now they're, they're saying they created only 240 million jobs. That's all not the a loss package. of jobs, Senator. Well, that's a, a smaller aggregation of jobs. I, I'm, you can't go on a campaign, a national campaign, with this kind of math, Senator. It's just incorrect. Well, sure you can because it's, that's not, that's not incorrect. Well, you don't need to know anything about the stimulus to realize that there is nothing even remotely correct about what Rick Santorum said. He claims the stimulus package created 240 million jobs? Now think about that for a minute. There's only 309 million people in America who are actually working. The entire workforce is only 153 million people. About 14 million of them are unemployed. So if President Obama actually created 240 million jobs, every man, woman in America could have a job, and we'd still have to bring in people from other countries to fill all the available positions. Rick Santorum wants to be elected president of a population that he knows nothing about. His total ignorance about the American workforce is mathematically challenged. Psycho talk.